15 goodness this code made me sit in austin texas for three weeks so supposedly transmission control module this guy right here some people say what's happened it's a electric it's it magnets the oil from transmission all the way to the tcm here it's crazy but whatever uh so now we're gonna show how to erase that code so what i did i bought the 700 bucks from china this uh diagnostic computer plug in here so there is a laptop it comes with a laptop and this main computer Okay, plug in and now it's gonna pair it okay see that uh, the little lock is unlock you go to that Mercedes symbol at it okay now it's gonna it's gonna do the diagnostic Okay, F2 or scroll down, scroll down. All right, we're going to Vans, right? V class, Sprinter. Okay, so it's a second one right here. It's from the 2004 or 5, 6 uh us canada sure okay we scrolling down mm -hmm. this is the the signal for supposedly low battery but ignore it just ignore it so this is my v number so we are pressing f2 quick test okay double click that See right here, electric transmission control. There we go, the capital F. Something is wrong with that. It could be wiring, could be a valve body, could be just uh, oil in the electrical, uh, in that plug in transmission. Dealer said they could not reset it. They told me four and a half thousand dollars plus tax. And uh, the advisor, not only the mechanic, certified mechanics, goodness. I do not like dealership certified mechanics. The ones that said you cannot reset it. You have to buy brand new uh, transmission control uh, module. Okay. So what do we do? We double click it. Control unit version, current fault voucher codes. Okay. See here it says P P2203. Speed sensor 3 is false. Whatever. When the control module is messed up, they're gonna throw you any codes. So what are we doing right now? It's uh, erasing. We press here. Double click. Do you really want to erase voucher memory and event memory? Ah, uh, yes. Big time. After three weeks in Austin, Texas, yes. Switch off. Okay, we turn off the ignition. Switch on. Okay, I think it's it's been erased. Let's see. Let's start it. Okay. So we put the reverse. I don't hear the kick. Valeri, do you hear the kick? That's a good thing. Okay, we go to drive. All right, nice and smooth. Let's shift down. 
beautiful this is what we need my goodness there we go there we go so um if the dealer cannot erase what do i want to say just send it to me i'll do it for the half price <laughs> Yep, guys, it, it cost me the whole thing, this this 700 bucks, but uh, it's really worth it because it's for all Mercedes bands. Yep. So, I recommend to everybody. Look at that. No more Austin, Texas, right? For three weeks. And you know, the funny thing is I already reset three three control modules the one that I've been told it's been fried even that one is the reset it so I'm happy I'm happy like an elephant so again we plugged in just to check it out so it's going to this computer right here and now it's communicating with the computer okay we need to turn ignition on and we are looking for that unlock sign. Okay, we got uh, we got that online unlock sign. Now we go into that Mercedes symbol. Is it the symbol? Okay, now we going down, scrolling down. F two again. F two. Now it's communicating. Uh, we go to look like a Sprinter V class transportation. Sure, it's communicating. Uh, sprinters, that's what we want. Uh, second one right here. If it, I got a 2005, so I use this one. 2004, 5, and 6 is that second row right here. Okay, US Canada, Canada, A. Eh? The Canadian A. Eh? Sure. It's a communication. Okay. We are going F2 in process. No, we do not want to abort it. Still communicating. Okay, V number, yep, it's my sprinter. F2 going down, quick test. Let's go quick test. After we reset it. So this computer already reset three control uh, transmission control modules. You know Valeria, I was thinking on eBay put the price and uh, go yeah. ahead send it, to me. send it to me yeah send it to me I'll reset on my on my sprinter mm -hmm. and then uh, as long as it's not flooded or damaged <laughs> or severely destroyed yeah. then in that case even $700 computer wouldn't be able to help you but advisor dealer advisor will and uh, you know certified mechanic mm -hmm will sell you gladly with uh, for a thousand three hundred bucks plus tax transmission control module right here it's perfect it's perfect so yep it did the job I'm pretty excited, pretty happy with that. Okay, so what do we do now? We'll start. Let's start the vehicle again. We put it reverse. Doesn't kick. Drive. Shifting down. I'm happy. I'm good. So in conclusion, if the dealer tells you it doesn't work, actually work right Valeri right yep so what I did first when I was driving it sound it, it feels like somebody pulled the e-brake on me and then it throw to the the limp mode right after that I went to junkyard pull out the transmission control module from the used sprinter 
put it under the seat connect it but you want to you want to um, disconnect the battery when you do that especially with transmission control module drove three miles not a problem but it went right to the limp mode again so I went to that same junkyard thanks goodness there was a messed up sprinter but I pull out the valve body I changed the valve body but my transmission control module both of them were messed up already right so I changed the valve body and I ordered somebody recommend me that uh, diagnostic it's called uh, MB Mercedes-Benz Star C4 so right now I reset it and I'm pretty happy it's kind of spendy 700 bucks but it's doing the job hopefully it's uh, help you somehow